In this video, I'm going to show you how to deposit crypto onto the Mexi platform. I'll also show you how to withdraw your crypto from Mexi and into another wallet address. This video is not financial advice and is intended for educational purposes only. If you're still relatively new to Mexi, I do have a step-by-step -step beginner tutorial and I'll leave a link for that video in the description down below for anyone that might find that helpful. If you end up getting some value out of this video, don't forget to leave me a like and hit subscribe for future content. Let's get into the video. If you want to use Mexi as an unverified user, you can simply just deposit crypto onto the platform. And you can find the deposit button right up here on your spot wallet. Alternatively, you can also find the deposit button on your assets overview. So if we come up here to wallets, click on overview, you'll see a deposit button right here. And you'll see a deposit button over here on the right hand side as well. And any one of these deposit buttons will take you to the same form. So I'll go ahead and just click this one here. Now we just simply need to choose the crypto that we wish to deposit onto the platform. And we can do that by clicking right here. So in my case where it says Tether, then select the crypto from this drop down menu that you want to deposit onto Mexi, or you can search for it in the search bar. I'll go ahead and do Ethereum. Next, we need to choose a network by just simply clicking right here. Then Mexi will give you a pop-up window showing you the available networks that you can use to make your deposit. And some of these networks will be less in fees than others, such as Arbitrum 1 or the BEP20 network. The main thing is, is you want to make sure that the network matches on both sides of this transaction. If you send from one network into another, you will lose your coins forever. So just make sure wherever you're sending the coins in from that you select the right network when depositing. For this demonstration, I'll use the Arbitrum 1 network. So I'm going to give that a click. And then right down here, we'll have to generate a deposit address. So just simply click right here to generate your deposit address. Now you should see a QR code. So if you're sending in from a smartphone, you can scan your QR code to make this deposit. And you should also see your deposit address next to your QR code. For this demonstration, I'll just simply copy my deposit address by clicking right here. And I'll go ahead and demonstrate by sending some Ethereum from Binance into the Mexi account. So I'll just quickly toggle over to Binance like so. Then I'm going to come down here to Ethereum and over here, click on withdraw. And then under send to, I'm going to paste my Mexi deposit address right here. Then, of course, we need to select the correct network, which is Arbitrum. So I'm going to click here and Arbitrum's right here. So I'll give that a click. Now the network matches on both sides of this transaction. So everything's looking good. And I'm going to proceed to deposit the funds from Binance to Mexi. And the Ethereum's on its way from Binance over to Mexi. And a quick tip with this. If this is your first time depositing crypto onto the platform, just send in a small amount first. Make sure that you have the network correct, the correct address, and then when that small deposit shows up, you can have the confidence to send in a larger amount. And now down below under recent deposits, you can see that my funds have arrived and they'll be in my spot wallet. So to get to your spot wallet, you just simply come up here to wallets and then click on spot. And here's the Ethereum that I just sent in from Binance. To withdraw your coins off of the Mexi platform to another wallet address, the first thing you need to make sure is that your coins are in your spot wallet. So if you have your coins in your futures account, you'll have to transfer them out of futures and back into your spot account. If you need any assistance with doing that, I do have a video on how to internally transfer your assets from futures back into spot. So what we'll do from here is we'll come right up here to wallet, then we'll come down, we'll click on overview. On this page here, we'll come over here on the right hand side and click on withdraw. And this will bring us over to the withdrawal form. The first thing we need to do is click right here and select the coin that we wish to withdraw. You can select it from this drop down menu here or you can search for it in the search bar. I'll just go ahead and select Ethereum. Now we need to enter our withdrawal address. This is going to be the deposit address of the destination that we want to send these coins to. So to keep things nice and simple, I'll just go ahead and use Coinbase. I'll quickly bring it into frame like so. And I've already got my deposit address displayed right here. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to choose the network that I wish to use to do this. So I'll do that by clicking right here. And I'm going to go ahead and use the Arbitrum network, just like so. Now I can see my Arbitrum deposit address. So I'm just going to go ahead and quickly copy it like so. And let's go ahead and bring Mexi back into frame. Now I'll simply paste that address right here, just like this. Now here, I'm going to have to choose that network by clicking right here. And we can see the Arbitrum 1 network right here. So I'm going to go ahead and give that a click. So just make sure that the network matches on both sides of this. Now that I have my deposit address, 
and I've selected the correct network, I'm going to come down here and choose the amount that I wish to withdraw. You'll be able to see your available balance right here, so you can do a custom amount, or if you want to send all of it, just click right here where it says select all. Then come on down here and click on submit. Then we're getting a security verification pop-up window here, so we're going to have to request an email verification code by clicking right here. Once that code arrives in your email, type it into this box right here, and then come down here and do your Google Authenticator code. If you haven't enabled Google Authenticator and you need assistance with that, I do have a video on how to bind Google Authenticator. And I'll leave a link for that video in the description down below for anyone that might find that helpful. And now the withdrawal has been initiated and we can see that down here under withdrawal history. And here we can see that the status of this is currently to be processed. And this shouldn't take too long. But that's how you get this done. Now, if you're interested in learning how to whitelist withdrawal addresses or to create a contact list of addresses, I do have a video for that and I'll leave a link for it in the description down below for anyone that wants to learn how to whitelist your withdrawal addresses. And there you have it. That's how you can deposit and withdraw crypto to and from Mexi. If you got some value out of this video, don't forget to leave me a like and hit subscribe. Also, feel free to check out my other Mexi tutorials, which I've put together in a playlist on my YouTube channel. Thanks so much for coming by and checking out this video. Looking forward to seeing you in the next one. And until I do, have yourself a powerful day.